click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to start a new chapter that is P block element and this is related to the 12th standard chapter. So now let us understand what is actually P block elements and what are the different elements that we could find in P block. So now let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in this topic, let me make you understand that is what is actually p-block element. So p-block elements are those elements in which the valence electron enters in the p-orbital. So that's the reason the name is p-block elements. So talking about the p-block, so this is what I'm going to talk about. That is starting with the first one. That is it starts with group 13 and it's end with group 18. So this is the group 13 element. That is what I'm going to talk about. That is it starts with boron. So that's the reason all the elements that are belonging to the group of the boron they are known as boron family elements so talking about the boron so boron is the first element of the group 13 and after that it is aluminium gallium indium and thelium so talking about carbon so carbon is a group 14 element and this all elements that are being belonging to the group 14 they are known as carbon family elements so starting with the first one that is this is carbon and after that it is silicon germanium tin and lead and this is group 15 and this is what I'm going to talk about in my next lecture that is we are going to talk about that is from group 15 to group 18 so this is the main syllabus of the 12th standard for HSC board so talking about the first one that is nitrogen so nitrogen is the first element of the group 15 and after that it is phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth after that it is oxygen so the first element of the group 16 is oxygen after that it is sulfur selenium tellurium and polyum and for that is halogen series we have that is fluorine chlorine bromine iodine acetine and for noble gases we have helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon so this all are basically p block elements and now we are mainly concerned with group 15 16 17 and 18. if you talk about the general electronic configuration so it has been found for p block it is basically ns2 np from 1 to 6. so that was related to the general electronic configuration and now let me talk about more information related to p block elements so p block elements are also known as representative elements the reason behind that is this block this is the only block that consists of metals not metals as well as metalloids but if we compare it with s block elements we understand that is there is only alkaline as well as alkaline earth metals so they are very much reactive with the, the elements like oxygen as well as water but if you talk about d block elements so that consists of we see radioactive elements also as well as metals but this is the only block that consists of metals not metals and metalloids so this was related to the p block element and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then and don't forget to subscribe eager channel thank you so much